Hi everybody, I'm Vera. Hi, I'm Christina. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a didgeridoo. It sounds twelve ninety five. Sounds kind of mystical. There you go. We veer away up to where you know there's monks that live in Himalayas. Yeah, I got it yeah. at a good price too. <laughs> but anyway, this one's Anyways. exciting, kind of. Yeah, it is exciting, not kind of. Um, Past gonna, lives are always exciting, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, but this is going to be uh, for Erin McNulty Cowell, I believe that's her name. And now she's one of our fabulous uh, YouTube viewer friends. Yes. Yeah. And she has a question about a uh, beauty mark on her. And when we were getting ready to talk about Erin's beauty mark, I looked down at Christina's beautiful legs, <laughs> and there was like a little vein that looked like an arrow. Okay, it's stand a, up. It's a varicose vein. I'll just we'll just tell. No, him. it was just a slightly <laughs> little vein. But Vera drew on it to show you guys. Look at that. Wait, it was like that, right there. Right there. It, that's exactly what it looked the like. The way it is, I just drew it in. That's amazing. Yeah, and that is a rune. So very cool. That is. And it's the warrior. And this is the rune of the spiritual. I'm not gonna read it. I mean, it, all. it just appeared. It's so weird, it you guys. It just. She's never seen it before. No. So it's a, It's the rune of the. It's Tiwaz, the rune of the spiritual warrior, and it's just <laughs> awesome. It so is. we thought that that was so cool that we were getting. We got this right when we were gonna do Aaron's. Yeah, we were just sitting here. Mark. We looked down. And then, like I said, Vera just drew over it so that you could see it too. But yeah, but that's just... exactly what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> is that too amazing? Of it life? is. Gosh, so our life is always so interesting. It is. Okay. So now it's Erin. Okay, Erin. All right, so this is her question. Okay. And feel free to chime in. Okay. This Erin uh, is uh, saying, this is so interesting. I love watching your videos. I have quite a few birthmarks, but most curious about a beauty mark on the right side, sort of between my hip bone and pelvis. It seems a lot of people have those in that area. Right. right. Uh, although I have other birthmarks, this is her only beauty mark, and so she wants to know about it. And the thing that I picked up for Erin was that this is, you were going to be a twin what you say I'm already a twin but it's a twin mark it's for well not just it's for her though it's not like everybody that has one is a twin but this one was to remind her because it's a beauty mark not a birthmark the the beauty the love between the twins really her twin sister yeah so that is what it was supposed for you to remember because she decided like Angus not to come in life Oh, you guys, you got to yeah. hear this. You don't know this story yet. Oh, they don't really? know it. I thought we talked about it. I don't think they know. Oh. You want me to tell them or do sure. you want to tell them? No, go ahead. Well, I'll just tell you, you really know quick more about it. that uh, when Vera was born, you were never told, but... Until my dad was on his until deathbed. Until her father was on her, his deathbed that she had a twin brother that died at birth. Well, and she never knew this. I never heard anything well, about this. Well, before birth. Before birth. Yeah. Right. Was, like, yeah. But when we were talking with Angus in a trance session, he was supposed to have been her twin brother in this life. Mm -hmm. And he chose not to come in. That's a, a story for another time, but that's fascinating. Yeah, so that's exactly what this one is. So the twin is just so that you can remember that she's looking out for you on the oh, other side. Wow. Yeah, so it's pretty neat. And that's why it's a birth, I mean, a beauty mark and not a birthmark. Really? Because it's that, you know, the the sisters, the, what they have with each other. The so were they energy. sisters in another lifetime, you yeah. mean? They I were, see. yeah, but she's decided to stay, you know, in on the other side on this one. But on the other side, you guys are like, kindred spirits your best best friends they're connected at the hip 
<laughs> there you go. That's perfect. Wow. Yeah. Oh there you my go. See? gosh. Chills. Yep. That's really cool. Perfect. I bet analogy. you she's probably got one on the other side. Yeah. 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 So it's just your reminder of your twin. So wow. that you have someone, I, I mean, you have more than one, but this is another loved one that is watching over you and protecting you in this life. Wow. Yeah. That's really Pretty neat. cool, huh? Do you have a sense of what her twin's name on the other side oh, God, I knew you were going to ask that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was like, and it, it kind of rhymes with her, so it's like either, it's like, it starts with a T, so it's like Taryn or oh. something with a T. I see. I think it's Taryn. Taryn. Yeah. That's really neat. Yeah. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, very. Yeah. Well, Erin, thank you for asking us your question. Yeah. And do you want to just answer sure. her other question while we're here, or do you want to do it on another video? What would you like? I think we'll do it now. Okay. Let's Since do we're it. we're here. And this is another question from Erin, and it is, would you explain more about the feminine aspect of God that has been rejected? Okay. It's a good one. It is a good one. And it's, you know, it's interesting too, Erin, because one of the things that we've discovered is that at the Council of Nicaea, and I think it was in six, Constant, 600, Constantine or Constantine. 600s, I believe 610 or something like that. Um, it was a group of men that decided what was going to be in and taken out of what would become the Bible. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot taken out. Uh, there was the Gnostic Gospels that were decided that they weren't okay to be uh, put into the Bible. And um, a lot of the things that were left out had to do with the reincarnation, had to do with the Mother God aspect. And I think a lot of it too is, is um, things that are empowering for people. Their own divine connection. Yeah. You know. Because it, it makes sense. I mean, if we were made in God's likeness, and there, it's a male and female, it only makes sense that there's a there's a feminine side exactly. to the masculine side of God. Exactly. I mean, everything in nature, there's a masculine and a feminine. But especially for Earth, mm -hmm. Asna, the feminine mother God, is is the she's our what would you call it? Not patron saint, because she's not a saint, but She's she more, she's, she watches over us. Yeah, she's more active. Uh, where Father God's more stationary, St stationary. static. So, yeah, he holds she's, us. Yeah. He's holding us, and she is the one that's moving in and out and mm -hmm. answering prayers. You know, she's the great interceder. So she's interceding in our life mm -hmm. and that type of thing. And, and just the patriarchal side of that Constantine era didn't want to have the women empowered. That was basically it, and exactly. so just wiped it out. Yeah, so because before that, it was always there was always a feminine, there was always a mother god. There was right. yeah, exactly. And I've really wondered why, you know. And it's like it's one fear. of the things. Yeah, one of the things is, you know, I think too the feminine side it represents intuitiveness and being able to connect. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why they want to rule out emotion because mother god's the emotional side. And that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. And that's exactly. what, you know, because you can see sometimes like in, in our politics and if men get excited, like in Congress, especially now with Elizabeth Warren and the, that Senator Harris mm -hmm. and how outspoken they are and the, the one from Alaska, I forgot her name, but they're so powerful and empowered and the men just say, oh, they're so emotional. Right. But if it was a man doing it, oh, they're just they're just really, you know, know, passionate about that bill or whatever it is. But when it's a woman, it's like, oh, they're just emotional. You know, and all they are is talking about their passion with whatever they're talking about. You know, and I and I guess that the fear is like I what would fear. they be afraid of? But I'm thinking that that if somebody's in, more insecure and if they're a man in, in that case and they are more physically strong and if a woman's coming up and making herself look powerful that makes them feel weak because mm -hmm. they should be stronger in their mind than that yeah and so then they put that down and Constantine had an issue with his mother 
Wow. So it was, you know, it's like, oh no, you know, we wow. got to cut this down. And you know, what's really interesting too is that uh, one Oops. of the. I think I kicked the chair. Oh, it's okay. Uh, a subject that Vera and I are going to also do a video on, it has to do with dark entities. Mm -hmm. And that's not the skin, it's not our skin, because we all come in as different races and cultures. It has to do with the motive we have in our heart. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we've learned a long time back is that with dark-hearted entities, they have negated the side of Mother God. Yes. This, the emotional side. I kind of find that interesting, that maybe that has something to do with it. They put down the emotion. They don't like that. You know, and they just, maybe, maybe they don't feel emotion they as don't. much. Yeah. They are able to harm others and, mm -hmm. and they be greedy and take whatever yeah. they want and not care. So if anybody has emotion, that's a weakness. Yeah. If you're caring, you're not going to make more money. You're not, you know, you know what I mean? Kind yeah. of a yeah. thing, you know? Exactly. So that's really interesting. Yeah. But, but we'll answer that question in another video. Uh, in another video, yeah. yeah. But for as far as Mother God and the feminine principle, it trickled down. It wasn't only God. It was also some of the angels, like mm -hmm. Michael, Archangel. We found out through uh, Angus, through Vera, that as a transmedium, that there's also Malachessa, and she's a female Archangel. So it trickled down. Yeah, so there is, it does have that aspect, even though we all know that they're, they're not either male or female right but still they take on those aspects for our human self yeah our human side right, so right. we understand it yeah yeah so anyway interesting question yeah. people yeah very good questions yeah we yeah. like the questions it's yeah they've gotten we've gotten some really good ones so mm -hmm. thank you so much we yeah. hope you appreciate we hope you appreciated it <laughs> We appreciate you. We appreciate you. you. Yeah. Yes, yes. They know what you mean. Yeah, I hope They so. can see you. They know your heart. <laughs> well, thank you again, Erin, for sending in fabulous yeah, questions. Good questions. And we hope that you all have a wonderful week. And Mother God Aspect is coming back. Oh, yes. So remember that. It's That's all coming it's back up. Definitely, because... We're not putting her down anymore. No, exactly, because or we're every stuffing time her in the closet. one group mm -hmm. Brings her. comes up, Every time there's one group in power and the other group's down, eventually that group comes up. And right now it seems yeah. like the feminine is coming up. Yep. So, exactly. Very cool. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great week. Keep your light on. Yeah. Bye. Bye.